Hi guys, I've got a quick game for you here. This is a game that happened in the Mati's Chess Club League. Typical league, um, typical prizes. Yeah, I'll probably post like something somewhere, poster or something, screen, um, so that you see that. But um, yeah, this is a game um, which I was watching live, it made a cool impression on me, and I thought I'd just share a few of my thoughts and more just appreciate the game i guess and apologies if you hear noise in the background it's unfortunately one of the cons of um living in the city i'll try to as much as possible um kill that sound though but uh yeah bear with me um the game is, is well worth it so um yeah white was johan stiankamp and uh, that's stiankamp the username and Black was Asta99, which I believe is, is Nathan Amsterdam. So uh, in terms of feeder ratings, I believe Stian Gump is you know, Stian Gump is like 2100, 2000, like high 2000, and Asta is around 1800. So hopefully I, I have that right. I did not check, but it doesn't matter too much. Yeah, um, let's just uh, yeah dive into it. So out of three D5, so a red T which changes scamp it declined this old looked pretty normal to me some sort of semi slab setup i think this is h6 bishop f5 i assume this is all theory um a6 a6 was a move i thought was quite odd because like yeah you never really want to create these, these weaknesses or these sort of yeah i don't know it just felt very odd to me but then again um black is getting b5 on the next move and yeah, it fits in with the whole plan. B5, bishop b7, c5. So maybe that's just me not understanding something here. But I did feel like it was a little bit weird. And white played uh, castles. I think still a a4 was supposed to try. And after b5, then you play bishop d3. And um, unlike in the game, there's no c5 here, at least. Or if there is, it loses a pawn. So, like, maintaining some pressure as white. Because what happened in the game, I thought, was really like, yeah, black got everything they wanted in the opening and, and more, I think. So, castles, b5, bishop d3, c5, and black already got the key c5 break, and bishop's coming to d7. And yeah, I'm not seeing white's advantage here. I feel like black is already quite comfortable and has achieved all he wants to do. So h3, um, I guess making some lifts, putting g5, I'm not sure. Uh, maybe for the bishop, trying to save the bishop from knight h5. Not wanting to use the bishop, that eh, makes sense. Bishop b7, really good move. Um, now black kind of has control of the center. Um, here, what? What's wrong with my arrows? But you get the point. Um, black has control in the center with the bishop and the knight and this knight on c3 which is kind of keeping those squares um together or holding those squares can be chased anytime by b4 so white's definitely in a bit of trouble here queen c8 hap um queen e2 happens why queen c8 i think i'm thinking about the next move rook c8 rook d1 and then c4 c4 is not an idea i've seen often in these sort of setups usually the some sort of trade happens and yeah the position has that sort of character knight takes or bishop takes whatever but i guess maybe white is supposed to take on c5 because what happened in the game it did not look nice now black has the queen side and also lots of control over the center as well especially this d5 uh, e4 light square color complex and White's only really gonna have space on the king side to try and do something, but yeah, I don't know. Maybe this is hindsight, but it didn't look it didn't look fun for for White. So Bishop B1, Bishop is just kind of okay, it's still doing something on the board. D4 happens now. This is I think where problems start to to really really begin. Now the knight has only that square, so it went there was attacked and it was defended the only way to defend it that and then now uh, c3 
And now this knight is just kind of stuck here on the side with nothing to do. Uh, black has a past pawn already, which is probably going to be very powerful. Um, black still has quite good control of the center, and it's, it's really it's unclear to me what what white's advantages are here. Like, what does white have that's counterbalancing all these uh, advantages that black has? This knight being very weak and this uh, very strong past pawn there. And yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I think black is already doing pretty well. I played e4, trying to have some control of the center, so maybe that's that's one claim. Bishop uh, c6, played by black. I believe what I was looking at it with the machine, it said rook d8. And black has like really good advantage, but yeah, I'm not sure. I think bishop c6, I like it. Looks pretty fine to me, threatening to win a pawn maybe. Um, not the most impactful pawn, but the screen side is going to be super strong. And as a human, you kind of forced to react here. She might do something like g4 or something, just sack the pawn and try to get counter play. So, very difficult for people to play like that. But um, yeah, uh, you want to on play bishop c2, protecting a4, not losing that pawn at least. Bishop b5 was played, attack the queen. Not so sure what that does exactly, but after the queen moved, rook f d8, this rook gets into the game, and black pieces are all pretty much well placed, I think. Um, this bishop, yeah, it's, it's not shooting anything right now, but also pretty well placed, and white's pieces are pretty suspicious. This knight on uh, a4, this bishop on c2, this rook on c1, yeah, the whole setup is just disharmonious, so this was not this was not great for for white at all i did not like it but it's, it's far from from losing or anything like that so king h1 i think um white didn't know what to do yeah probably um king h2 is what i would suggest in hindsight but of course that's what the benefit of hindsight um king h1 was played bishop f8 was played that bishop is kind of undefended was the only piece other than I guess the queen that was undefended. Makes sense to kind of hide it. Seems like a normal move. Not sure if black could have done something more proactive there. G4 was played. I mean what else can white do, right? White has to do something. I mean he's almost down a piece here and um if white does nothing eventually it's gonna tell that uh, black has more active pieces, better place pieces. Although I guess the screen is kind of trapped here, you could say, in a way. But I don't know, I wouldn't believe that argument. Bishop can just move back any time. But okay, g4, threatening g5, trying to get some counterplay. Knight h7, trying to fight against that. Um, and e5, I think e5 is, is really, really bad. Maybe the losing mistake. And it's quite clear quite clear why also we want to get the screen right so that diagonal becomes a huge huge diagonal for black to use and play with so i think very clearly just a bad move um i was looking around here yeah, i think h4 trying to push g5 or maybe rook uh, g1 trying to push g5 still like some way to reinforce g5 not sure about g5 immediately feels Major, but maybe also possible. But yeah, that should be White's plan. Just trying to play on the king side and not open up the center. But um, yeah, after e5, Black dealt with this very well. Um, bishop c6, easy peasy. Move to play now. King h2, and this is the reason why I said I don't like King h1 and hindsight. King h2, and this is exactly that moment. This knight wouldn't have been pinned, and yeah, there wouldn't have been threats down this diagonal, so this would have been much better earlier on. White essentially lost the tempo there. Queen d5. Black gets a great setup. Now there's some mate threats already showing up. This knight is under fire and it's not easy to defend. Like, um, yeah, it's just not easy to defend. I'm, I'm not sure. We were, we were speculating on the broadcast with uh, Ruben and Yudi. And I don't remember what we were trying, but like rook d3 looks really bad trying to protect that way. 
walking King G2 looks really bad. Um, what else? Knight H4, Knight H4, you're inviting G5 things, you calculate. Probably you're gonna use that. And this knight is on that side of the board, so you're missing a piece in the defense. It feels very, very stable. Um, I'm not sure what to suggest. White went for King G3. Obviously inviting g5, maybe hoping this tactics, but unfortunately there were none. This g5 and uh, black was doing very very well here. Um, rook d3 was played, rook d3 was kind of confusing to me. Um, I was trying to sack somehow on g5, but even if you do do that, I think black can always try and trade here first. And then... Um, if you take, for instance, then take back here, yeah. something like that, or if you take there, still continue the line and you move away, black can move away well as well, or take there, or something like that, and at the end, black is kind of a piece up, so let's imagine this bishop moves to safety, then white move, black moves here, and piece up for black. Three, four versus three and this i guess it becomes a piece now but still a very bad piece so clearly that would have been bad but yeah i don't know what else um, try in like the position is just uh, hopeless there um rook d3 happened black just uh, took the piece on f4 queen takes a four and this was a move that really, really surprised me on the broadcast and i was trying to First, I thought it was a mistake, but then I kept thinking, kept thinking, and then I, I found some some play, and I wasn't sure how I felt about it. But after analysis, I think it's pretty good. So 95 happened. 95 was kind of a shocker. Like there's no need to, to play a move like 95, um, but actually it's really really strong. So um, for instance, if you take with your knight, actually did not check taking with night i presume there's a lot of bad stuff happening here mm -hmm. not so sure check you move there um and check here you move up there and oh i can't meet you there's a rook there um surely there's there's some sort of mate here that i'm just not seeing you guys all have to find it wait there's some threat there's some counterplay so maybe i can't stop here check here if you go back i'll check i'll take the queen so you have to take still not finding the kill you can check here you're forced to go there i'm still i'm still not finding it yeah, you guys will have to find it, but I'm pretty certain this is just dead. Right? Right? Maybe. <clears throat> yeah, I don't know. I don't know. Maybe just take care of something. Bail out and you'll be fine. You're up to here. Are you? Actually not. Guys, listen. <laughs> you can calculate this out. I'm not sure how this works out i'll actually check it after this um queen takes is what happened queen takes was met pretty easy by bishop uh, d6 and yeah the game was pretty much over from here right just take the queen and um yeah black just cleaned it up uh white resigned on this move after takes just takes here with check and white is up queen queen versus a rook so Easy peasy. Um, more important was on this move. I was really wondering why not uh, pawn takes, and I thought a lot on this moment. And I thought, you know, like Black was just giving back the piece he had just won. And after this position, seems like Black's in trouble. Has to move the queen somewhere. Maybe you know, there's counterplay. The king is open, but actually, there's just queen d3. And um, I started calculating this in the broadcast, but I didn't believe it. But um, yeah, in this position, it seems like actually black is 
is dominating. Black just has a lot of pieces. Black is gonna win this knight for free, the knight on f3. Um, Black has the two bishops. Black still has this uh, super fast pawn. And like it seems the quality of the pieces is just, just insane. Black can also just take this on the next move and win the queen back and then we piece up as well. So there's actually no good way to respond to do this this is just lost um and yeah i mean this is not so easy to, to spot um playing 95 knowing that if pawn takes you're gonna take on d3 um yeah but now i'm wondering if it takes i still haven't figured that out i think this is right this here is this right maybe i could also do this no that does nothing right this feels right this year. Oh, I can't figure it out. I'm not sure the best way to play this honestly. Um I'm tempted to try something like this. Trying to bring the bishop around. Mate that way. Feels super creative, but maybe it works. I'm not sure. You guys will figure this out for me. Um yeah, uh hope you enjoyed the video. I tried to keep it as short as possible, but uh, yeah, that's really fun, really interesting video and uh, hope you enjoyed it. Also tune in for the Matisse Chess Club League games every Wednesday on the Africa Chess Lounge Twitch channel. <laughs>